Hey YouTube, welcome to the video. Daniel Gallette here. I worked up some 168 grain barns for my 300 short mag. Um, my Tika is a 1 and 11 inch twist barrel. And uh, you can see the box here says it's recommended for 1 and 11 inch twist with this Barnes bullet. Uh, I used Federal 210 match just regular regular large rifle primers though i probably should be using um, magnum primers i do have remington nine and a half but they're kind of on the the softer side um and then for powder i used hodgton h4350 um why i use that powder i get good velocity with it and um i'd found decent sd and es so Last year I used this load for caribou and I used uh, somewhere around uh, about a grain of gunpowder more than what I developed this year. And what I worked on this year was just trying to find that sweet spot in the ladder where I'm getting good um, ES and SD numbers. And I didn't really necessarily check last year what my ES and SD was. I just could hit steel at four or 500 yards when I shot for, uh, the load last year and um worked it up to that and recorded my dope and i hunted with it and it worked um but this year i was going to be hunting in montana which i am already back from and um i found this to be a very effective uh round um barnes does like a little bit of speed so i was trying to go for around 3,000, 3,100 feet per second you know, maybe I could push a little harder. I, I think I was around 3140 feet per second last year, but um, what I settled out at was about 3,035 feet per second. All right, so this is the this is the powder charge that I ended up picking. Um, as you can see in some of the ladder work I showed, like 63.5 grains of gunpowder. So if you look, I did shoot a whole bunch of bullets shooting five shot groups and I tried shooting where these flat spots were and there was a flat spot around 63, 63.5 and then higher up around 64.1, 64.5. And I still could have keep going up in the ladder um, with speed, but um, I, I found good velocity numbers around 63 and a half, but the group looked like crap. And what I, what I ended up discovering was the neck tension on some of the bullets was off and some not bullets but some of the cases right and i use a a full length s die which has a a bushing in the neck so i'm full length sizing and then when i head space um i actually use the uh, competition shell holders so like i'm doing everything right but why am i getting groups that are a little off well some of the cases that I used when I did some of my initial uh, load testing with the rifle and um, where had some ejector swipes on it and um, I find like just sizing some of this brass it wouldn't it wouldn't give me like three thousand four thousandths of an inch neck tension it would almost just slide right in giving me like six um, or, or you know two it you know, almost no neck tension it felt like so I set aside those pieces of brass and I used brass that was better quality, you know, that, that I knew that when I measured the dimensions weren't so oversized after being fired and I found good consistency and this was uh, one of the better groups right here, um, just under an inch. If I, if I omit the flyer, probably even, even tighter, like 0.4 of an inch or 0.3. Um, but 0.85 of an inch at 100 yards, um, that's, that's great. Um, but when I loaded up 30 that I brought to Montana with me, I shot some to test out to 500 yards. And um, when I checked my zero at 100, <clears throat> um, my velocity numbers were nearly the same, which is why I use Hodgkin 4350. It's, it's an extreme powder. So, you know, when you go from 100 degrees plus when I'm temp testing uh, in Texas, you know, I'm working near that high temperature max charge uh, for my loads. So when it's colder, um, you know, I'm not going to have any issues with the, with the gun with having uh, too much gunpowder or, you know, you know, it's extreme, it's temperature insensitive powder. So that's why I want to use that powder. It's reliable in the extreme of temperatures that I will be hunting in. 
And when I looked at the, the numbers as I shot through, my SD stayed close to five or six. So in the end, I shot uh, eight rounds and my ES was um, 16 and my SD was 6.7. Um, I believe under five is ideal for long range, you know, trying to shoot a mile. Um, but I'm just trying to hunt out to 600, 700 yards maybe with a mil mil fixed SFWA scope. Um, I don't know if any of you all heard of that brand of scope, but I'm just using a, a mil dot scope with mil turrets. So if I need to adjust, I just adjust the mils. But that's a very consistent ammo that I have loaded here under seven SD, uh, standard deviation under seven. With the scale that I use here, that's only maybe $250. I think that's a really good load that I've found here. So a few things that I found that helped me get this load fine-tuned as I have. Um, I've gotten past like uh, 200 rounds with my rifle, which would be like a, a barrel break-in if you were to call it. So I feel like it's sped up and it's a bit more consistent now. Um, so when I set my scale to dispense 63 and a half grains, I actually have it dispense uh, a tenth under, and then I trickle up with my little Lee powder scoop to just barely make it a light 63 and a half grains. And that's what I did for the, the 30 that I loaded up <clears throat> and the ones that I tested uh, to, uh, to 100 there. So, um, you know, consistent, very as, as consistent as possible powder charge, um, the neck tension being around three, four thousandths of an inch. I found that's very helpful to, 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 to tune that. And then consistent seating depth and good brass. If the brass is messed up, you know, set that brass aside and, and use better quality brass. Um, I probably have a few more firings left in this brass that I have here, this Norma. Um, but I think now that Lapua has brass out, I may upgrade to that here for next hunting season. But for now, 168 grain barns going 3,035 feet per second with under 10 uh, standard deviation, under 15 um, extreme spread. Uh, this is a, a fast load. Um, when I run out of these, I'm going to start working on 175 grain, which has a better BC. Um, if not, I may change to a bullet that has a higher BC. I don't know what, but, uh, I really like the performance of Barnes. Um, very minimal meat loss, lead free, just, um, the BC is not the greatest, but still out to 500 yards. I think this is a great round, but if I'm going to be in places where it's just wide open country where I may need a 650 yard shot, um, I would want something that has a higher BC, like an ELDX or an Acubon long range, you know, something that can, that can do that more effectively with that BC that can cheat wind and uh, retain velocity and distance. All right. Well, if you're new to the channel here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.